Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Now, I promised you guys that whenever Counterside Global have any news, you guys will hear it here first from my channel. And guess what? Today, I've got some news for you guys. Now, Counterside Global is officially launching soon. Originally, we actually got this news a couple of weeks back. And we know that before June, they plan to release the Counterside uh, Global server. But right now, if you guys are not familiar, if you guys have been following Twitter, uh, speculation has been cleared. Countersite is actually launching end of this month, end of May. Uh, the exact date seems to be 27th of May. So let me show you guys the global pre-registration rewards. Alright, so as you guys can see right here. So this is from the official Countersite global uh, website as you guys can see. If you guys are not aware, in the iOS Play Store, there's a way to check the official date for the game when it's released. And you can see right here, uh, there's a hint right here for the players in general. You can see 270,522 credits. So this means that the game will be launching 27th of May 2022. All right, so that's the hint given right here. Uh, it's so specific amount of credits. But looking at the pre-registration rewards, uh, again, feel free to pre-register. Make sure you guys, if possible, get it up to 250,000. That's the goal that they are reaching for which is a little bit on the lower side, I'm quite surprised. Usually most games, when they're trying to hit a pre-registration uh, milestone, usually they will aim for like 1 million, 2 million, sometimes even 5 million, which is insane. But this game only tries to get 250,000. Now let's look at all of these rewards and I want to judge them as fair as I can. As someone who plays on C and has been following like perhaps the KR region in terms of rewards, looking at the amount of credits, this is actually kind of low to be honest. Alright, the amount of credits they give is nothing spectacular. 270,000, you barely could craft much gears with this, uh, to be honest. But then for someone that's starting out, I think it's pretty decent amount. Uh, two blue tickets. Now, I was laughing at this when I saw this earlier. Two blue tickets? That means you can do two pulls, alright? It, it sounds insane, but of course I, I didn't see what's below that. Uh, going into, into it, 70,000, you're gonna get 30 counter APT cores. Again, this is not much, all right? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, 500 quarts plus boss frame. Now that one is pretty cool. This one is pretty cool. Like to get like a special frame boss. As far as I know, on the C server, there's no such thing. Uh, I don't think I have obtained any frame for boss before. Uh, let me check, is it like the same thing that is being given out to every single player? Frame settings. Okay, frame boss. I don't think that is, okay, that could be a global exclusive thing because you can see here, I don't have that frame. All right, I have all of these frames, but there's no boss frame. This one looks different. You can see there's the, the robot at the bottom right. You can definitely see that. Plus 500 cross. Now this one is not bad, all right? And then you get Sylvia Lina Cooper, which is at first glance, I was like, okay, it's just an SR, who cares, right? Again. From my mindset, I'm playing on C server where we have Rearm, we have Awaken. Getting an SR is not that big of a deal. But starting out, you're going to have SSR is your highest rarity. Keep that in mind. So SR is like not that far behind. And plus Sylvia, I do like it. She's pretty cool. Uh, she's one of the better characters early on especially. She's like, I actually remember this brings back a bit of nostalgia. I have stopped using her for so long. But... She's one of the better characters that I, I miss using her, all right? She's just so insane with her stun. She has one of the longest stuns in the game, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with her special skill. If you want to upgrade, upgrade this. Stuns for four seconds, level, level this up to, you know, max level, level five, and it will also stun soldier and counter. I think this is the reason why they are giving Sylvia as a reward right here. I think it's also correlated to what KR is going to get soon. Because as far as I know, end of this month or something, KR is going to get like a Sylvia rearm. So that could be in line with what they are having. And also 200,000 pre-registrants, you're going to get T4 SSR counter gear set. Against this is not nothing too spectacular right here. I don't think it's anything crazy. But once you reach 250,000, hopefully Global will be able to reach this. A launch celebration recruit on demand times 10. So I'm not sure what this means. I don't think it's stand free SSR, so I think it just means stand free pulls. So does this mean that you can use this to reroll if you want to? 
Uh, if it is, it's pretty insane. You can get all of this hopefully, and then you can use these 10 uh, free rolls or 10 free tickets to hopefully roll for the character that you want. Now, I've done a, a video in the past. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, uh, please check it out. I'll try to link it in the description below and in the pinned comment as well. It's about the top five must-have characters. I practically make that when the global CBT came out, right? So hopefully, you know, that video is still going to be relevant, of course. But the thing is, we still don't know a lot of things about global. Right now, the main concern, in my opinion, is I think the pacing of how fast the banners are going to be. Now, that's something that I think uh, I've discussed in the video before as well. Because uh, if you guys are not aware, JP right now is going pretty insane, it's going pretty fast. They do have a few other events as well going on in their Twitter. So if you guys haven't followed Countersite Global, feel free to follow their Twitter. Let me show it to you guys as you guys can see the raffle dive event. So you are going to get some of this official merch, which is like Countersite soundtrack CD. I'm not sure how many people still use CD nowadays, like even my PC. I don't think I have anything in my house that can play a CD. I don't have a CD player. Even my computer don't have that anymore. So it's like... Yeah, getting a CD, like, I don't probably can't use it. And then there's a, a art book. That one is cool, for sure. A, a couple of other things. Cool stuff, basically, you just have to make sure to follow the raffle dive thing. And one thing that I think uh, a lot of players have been concerned, I was reading this as well, uh, will there be a PC client on the release? Now, this is something that's really difficult, and I know something that can be quite controversial for some people, because a lot of people really want PC client. Now, I get it. Most people, um, as far as I know, that follows my community and a lot of you guys that, you know, follows not just my community, but if you guys are, f you know, on the on the website, social media, and you're following the Discord, you're joining the Discord, you're following the Reddit constantly, you are definitely on the slightly hardcore side of players in terms of the player category. So, of course, as a hardcore player, you would definitely reroll. You're definitely going to want a PC client. You would definitely want to play on an emulator if you can. But the casual players... It's not going to affect them. They're just going to play the game. I'm not sure if there will be a PC client. I wish that they would just straight out come out and say and clear the the, the ease of mind. Alright, I think a lot of players really want to know. Will there be a PC client on launch? Or will there be any PC client at all? So right now, I think the answer that we have obtained from them thus far is we are still debating whether or not to release PC client and that was the last response. And players are left wondering. So again, let me know if this is something that will bother you guys. Like, will this affect you guys into playing the game at all? But yeah, uh, I do enjoy playing this game on the PC client. I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, again, Countersite Global. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you guys visit those. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.